Good evening, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Hey, look at some of these stats. This is the second snowiest March in Blacksburg. March snow so far this month, and I don't think you're going to pick up much more, 22.7 inches of snow. The snowiest March ever was 33.8, set back in 1960, but right behind is March 2018 with close to 23 inches of snow in Blacksburg. And look at this, better late than never. That's right across the Roanoke Valley. First three months of winter were kind of boring in the snow department, but we're making up for lost time. 10.6 inches of snow for the month of March. That leaves us the 10th snowiest March here in 2018. And before we move any further, I just want to uh, say thank you to VDOT. Uh, they have worked around the clock getting our roads back in order out across the New River Valley. And also another thank you goes out to all those uh, folks getting those power uh, outages fixed across the region. So thank you to APCO. Thank you to other power companies and thank you to VDOT for all the hard work you've been putting in here over the last couple of days. So what's ahead for us? Well, increasing clouds tonight. Rain showers return soon and we're looking at a much warmer day for us as we head into Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to crank up the heat and once it's here, it's going to stay in place for a while. It's a clean sweep on the radar. This is just ground clutter. No rain, no snow, no freezing rain and sleet for now outside. Skies right now partly cloudy, but we're watching a couple of pieces of energy to the west and we're going to start to see changes in our weather. We're going to start to see some spotty showers moving in as we head into the day tomorrow. So let's talk about tomorrow morning. Between 6 a.m. and about maybe 1 p.m., we will have the chance for some light freezing rain and or sleet. Best chance for that will be along and to the west of the parkway. So the highlands, the New River Valley, perhaps even parts of the Roanoke Valley could see some very light freezing rain and or sleet come tomorrow morning, perhaps even lasting until around lunchtime or so. After that, we should warm things up enough where any precipitation we see in the afternoon should be just spotty showers. And right now, the best chance for that in the afternoon will be in areas north of the Roanoke Valley towards the Highlands and also towards the southern Shenandoah. Tomorrow night, we look pretty dry, maybe a stray shower in the mountains. Otherwise, on Wednesday, we're mostly cloudy. Maybe again, a stray shower early in the day, but a better chance for at least uh, some passing showers as we head into Wednesday afternoon. So Wednesday afternoon looks to be a little bit wetter than Wednesday morning. Temperatures right now 32 in Hot Springs, it's 38 in Blacksburg, 36 Martinsville, 40 right now in Lynchburg, and 40 in Danville. We're going to see a warm up this week, as I told you, and there are two reasons why. One, the jet stream. Jet stream bisects where the colder areas to the north from where the warmer areas to the south. We're going to be under a ridge. That ridge means we're going to be in the warm sector. And in conjunction with a southerly flow, something we haven't seen in a while, it's going to grab the warmth that is around the Gulf Coast states and bring that warmth in our direction. We are looking at temperatures in the 60s to near 70 as we head into the mid to latter part of the work week. Hey, and the winds aren't a huge factor either. Anywhere between around 3 and 8 miles per hour for the most part out of the east to 12 in Hot Springs. But I do want you to notice the wind direction, east of the component of the wind. That means we've got the wedge starting to set into play. The wedge is going to be strong tomorrow. I don't expect to see much sunshine tomorrow. As a matter of fact, tomorrow looks cloudy and cool with that chance for some light freezing rain and or sleet in the morning. Then we have some spotty rain showers possible later in the day. And it's again, mainly because our Good friend, the wedge is here, right? All right, so for tonight, we're looking at those clouds increasing overnight lows in the 20s and low to mid 30s. For tomorrow, again, not everybody gets wet, spotty showers around. Uh, but again, in the morning, it could be some sleet, light freezing rain, high temperatures tomorrow in the 40s, perhaps even a few 50s as you head towards the New River Valley. Extended forecast, 67 for us on Wednesday, 30% chance for some passing showers. Scattered showers, even a few storms on Thursday and also on Good Friday. We're going to dry things out on Saturday. Sunday, maybe a stray shower Easter morning, but for the most part, Easter Sunday looks dry with another chance for rain on Monday. 60s to near 70, Wednesday through Sunday, and then temperatures fall into the 40s to near 50 one week from today. So in other words, soak in the warmth because it's mm -hmm. going to be here for five days. That's you know an extended period of time for what we've been seeing here of late.